Welcome to the new ePortfolio feature on CSULB Beachboard. This video is brought to you by the Highly Valued Degree Initiative in collaboration with the Career Development Center and the Academic Technology Services. Our video will cover what an ePortfolio is, the overall benefits, the homepage overview, and key features to the ePortfolio. First, we will go over some background information on ePortfolio. For those of you who don't know, an ePortfolio is an electronic portfolio which is a collection of digital artifacts that you organize and assemble into a format that you can share with others. Here are the benefits to ePortfolio. First, ePortfolio provides a visual aspect for users, which allows them to upload artifacts and presentations to showcase their work in a way that a standard resume cannot. Next, our personal favorite is the social aspect. Users can share their work and exchange feedback with others by leaving comments on their ePortfolios. This creates a great sense of community. Lastly is the growth aspect. Besides being able to visually showcase and share work, the user also has the opportunity to engage in reflections. This feature promotes self-growth. Now that we learned about the benefits, let's talk about how to access your ePortfolio. To access it, begin by logging into your Beachboard account. Then click on the Resources tab. From there, you will use the drop-down menu to click on ePortfolio, and this will take you to the home page. Your home page serves as the center for ePortfolio. From the home page, you can create a reflection to describe content and attach supplemental material. You are also able to create new presentations and collections. First, we will discuss reflections. A reflection is a way to measure personal growth and development. The first step to create a reflection is to go to the My Items tab and click Add. The next step is to select the artifact you want to reflect on. Step 3 will be to click on Add Reflection. Step 4 includes creating a title and typing in your reflection in the text box provided. Finally, step 5, click on Add to publish your reflection. Now your reflection will be added to the artifact. Now that we've discussed reflections, here are the other features within ePortfolio. The features in ePortfolio include uploading artifacts, organizing artifacts into collections or presentations, and sharing your work with others to allow them to comment on your work. Let's start with artifacts. Artifacts are items you can add to your ePortfolio. Icons shown here represent the different types of artifacts that can be uploaded into ePortfolio. So to understand ePortfolio, we will go over commonly used terms and their corresponding icons. Artifacts are comprised of reflections, documents, PDFs, photos, and links. To organize artifacts, you can create a collection or presentation. To share content, you can send it to other Beachboard users who have the option to comment. The first step to upload artifacts is to click My Items from the home page. Step 2 is to click Add and choose what you want to be added from the drop-down menu. We are using File Upload for this example. In Step 3, you must choose the file location where your artifacts have been stored. For this example, we will choose My Computer. Once uploaded, click Add. Finally, 
you will create a title, description, and save your artifact. You can also add artifacts from your home page. In this case, simply click Add Files or Add Link. Then click Add to ePortfolio and you are set. Be aware that by adding from the home page, you will not be able to add a description. After artifacts are uploaded, you can create collections. So what is a collection? A collection is a categorized folder of artifacts. You can create a new collection by clicking the paperclip icon on the right side of the home page. Next, create a title and description and then click Save and Close. When your collection is created, you can add artifacts to it. Select an artifact, then click on the action arrow and choose Add to Collection. Then click on the collection you would like to add your artifact to. Finally, click the Add button to transfer your artifact to the chosen collections. A great benefit of ePortfolio is that you can create more than one collection. Thank you for watching part one. Stay tuned for part two to learn how to create presentations. Additionally, part two will cover how to share and comment on the contents of your peers' ePortfolio. For any questions, please contact Academic Technology Services.